Okay, welcome to the mini story point of view lesson for emotionally intelligent husbands. Same story, so we're going to change the time a little bit. Let's tell the fir- first. Let's tell this story in the past, twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. Here we go. Twenty years ago, there was a guy named Bob. Bob was a newlywed. He and his wife Kathy had been married. Only two months. Unfortunately, Bob was an authoritarian husband. Every day, he would tell Kathy, "Cook my food, clean this house, serve me, woman." Bob felt he was entitled to be served like a king by his wife. Now, his wife Kathy was a very sweet wife. She was very sensitive, and she emoted strongly. She always showed her true feelings. Kathy had had a strict upbringing. Her mom had told her to always obey her future husband. Since she had strong moral fiber, Kathy tried to do what her mom had taught. But every day she became more sad because of Bob. Finally, she yelled at him with righteous indignation: "Shut up, you pig! I want a divorce." Bob was so shocked he had a heart attack and died. <gasps> But. After he was dead, nobody mourned. Kathy took his life insurance money, and now today she is still very rich, free, and happy. Okay, good. Pause. Please、uh, go back, listen to that version a few times until you fully understand how it changed, and then pause and tell it yourself. Tell it in the past tense, starting with the phrase "twenty years ago." Now, actually, you will notice every verb is not in the past tense. Some verbs are in different tenses. Don't worry about the names of the tenses. Just listen carefully. Notice how they change, and then you can pause after each sentence if you need to and repeat, or you can pause after all of the story and try to tell the entire story, beginning with the phrase "twenty years ago." All right, let's jump to the future now. I have a new movie idea. It's a science fiction movie, and it's going to be in 2050. And I'm going to tell you about my movie idea. Here we go. In the year 2050, there will be a, a guy named Bob. Bob will be a newlywed. He and his wife will have been married only two months. Unfortunately, Bob will be an authoritarian husband. Every day, he will tell Kathy. Cook my food. Clean this house. Serve me, woman.、Uh, Bob will feel he is entitled to be served like a king by his wife. Now, Kathy will be a very sweet wife.、Uh, she's going to be very sensitive, and she's going to emote strongly. She'll always show her true feelings. Kathy will have had a strict upbringing. Her mom will have told her to always obey her husband. Since she has strong, she will have strong moral fiber.、Uh, Kathy will try to do what her mom taught, but every day she will become more sad because of Bob. Finally, she's going to yell at him with righteous indignation: "Shut up, you pig! I want a divorce." Bob is going to be so shocked he will have a heart attack, and then he's going to die. After that, nobody is going to mourn him. Nobody will mourn Bob. Kathy will take his life insurance money, and then she's going to be very happy. She will be very happy because she'll be free and she'll be rich. All right, very good. So that obviously is using the future, right? We're talking about the year 2050. Now you notice、uh, I I I sound like I made a mistake there, but actually I, I started using the present tense and then I switched to using future. That's okay. Actually, in English, sometimes. When we talk about the future, sometimes we use the present tense.、Uh, so actually, m- in many cases, you can use both.、Uh, I, I I changed because I wanted to keep using the future tense only, so just to help you remember it. But in fact, when you talk about the future, you can sometimes use the present tense. So don't don't let that confuse you. All right, now let's tell it one more time. I'm going to begin the story with the phrase since. Two months ago, okay. Since two months ago, starting two months ago, okay. Since two months ago, 
there has been a couple named Bob and Kathy who are newlyweds. Unfortunately, Bob has been an authoritarian husband during these two months. Every day he has yelled at Kathy, cook my food, clean this house, serve me woman. Now during this time, this two months, Bob has felt he is entitled to be served like a king by his wife. Now Kathy, his wife, uh, she's a very sweet woman. She's very sensitive and uh, she has always emoted strongly. She has always showed her true feelings to Bob. Kathy in the past had a strict upbringing Her mom told her to always obey her future husband. Now, since she has strong moral fiber, and during this two months she has had strong moral fiber, Kathy has tried to do what her mom taught her. But every day she has become more sad because of Bob. Finally, one day, she's sick of it. Finally, one day, she yells at him. And she yells at him with righteous indignation. She says, shut up, you pig. I want a divorce. Well, Bob is so shocked, he has a heart attack and dies. But after he's dead, nobody mourns. Kathy takes his life insurance money and is now very happy. Okay, you'll notice in that one, I use have had, have gone, right? In the beginning, whenever I'm talking about uh, during the last two months, since two months ago. It means starting two months ago and continuing all up until now. Anytime I'm talking about something that has continued, that started two months ago and has continued until now, I'm using have gone, have had, right? But then I change to the present tense. I say, finally one day. Okay, now I change to the present tense. I could change to the past tense. I could have said, Finally, one day, she yelled at him, shut up, you pig, and then Bob was so shocked or that I, I could tell that the rest of the story, the end of the story, could be in the past tense if, if I say that happened in the past. I, I decided to tell it in the present tense, meaning it's, I started two months ago, I come up until now, the end of the story is told in the present tense. The end of the story is happening, <clears throat> happening recently. But the beginning of the story, I'm using, I'm talking about what has happened during this whole time, during a period that started in the past, two months ago, and has continued until recently. Okay, again, don't think too much about the grammar terms. You don't need to know present perfect, past perfect. That's not important. What I want you to do is listen many times to each version pause, go back, listen again, then try to maybe uh, repeat or copy uh, individual sentences, then try to repeat and copy telling all of the story, all of the version, using the beginning phrases. 20 years ago is version number one. Version number two, in 2050. And version number three, since two months ago. All right, good luck. See you next time. Bye-bye.